welcome to my video guys and this isn't just my video y'all this is for everybody but guys it is so important that as a chosen one we are a good role model for the people around us guys i cannot preach this enough guys that it is so so important that as a chosen one by god we are a good role model for the people around us. We are a good influence to the people around us. We are setting the example, okay? Because other people do have the spirit of God within them. But as a chosen one by God, we must set the example. And people may not know that we are chosen. But, the more they are around us, the more they hear us speak, they're just going to get that idea, guys, that you are chosen by God to spread his holy word, um, and he speaks through you, and that Jesus Christ is within you, God is within you, the Holy Ghost is within you, so I cannot say enough. That is so important that we are a good role model. We are a positive influence to everyone around us. Okay, if you can't be a good good example around somebody, you can't be a good influence around them, you can't be a good role model around them, I need you to step away from them for a, a while, guys. I need you to get some distance from that person, okay? Because two things, they either have the spirit of the devil within them or... It's just not working out and even God is telling you, you just need some distance from this person. They may not necessarily be um, uh, having the devil, the spirit of the devil within them, but God is telling you, this person just doesn't need you at this period of your of your life right now. Um, they actually need, need your absence to guide them uh, along their path and to their destination. So it doesn't mean that one day you're not going to cross paths again. But as a chosen one, sometimes people fall out of your life. Your closest people, guys, it could be your closest people. They fall out of your life and you just want to keep reaching out. But eventually you realize that uh, everyone has their own path. Everyone has their own destination. Um, and if you're always guiding people, how could they ever um, have spiritual growth of their own? How could they ever fill their own shoes, guys? So. As a chosen one, you're really there for the people that really need you. There are other chosen ones. There are other people that are going through trials, tribulations, going through their situations to make them who they are. So not the same people are always going to need you guys. One day you might help this person. One day you might help someone completely different. Uh, one day that person might help you. That's just how life is, guys. And uh, no one is above anyone. Uh, but God is the one we submit to in the name of Jesus Christ. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, it's a good little intro for the video. You know, I'm just uh, basically towel rubbing my hair um, because it's getting a little bit longer now. And, yeah, guys, I'm just going to do this while I make the video. Um, I don't see a problem with it. But, uh, yeah, guys, but, uh, totally guys, um, it's so important that you are a good role model around everyone that you come in contact with that is around you as a chosen one, uh, because you have the spirit of God within you. So you set an example and your example needs to be on point guys on point. Because why have the Spirit of God within you if you're also doing all this extra stuff? Um, you're also doing all this kind of like, it's like you also have the Spirit of the devil within you. Uh, if you're doing all this extra stuff, if you're setting a bad example. Um, I get it, guys. You want to spend time with people. You want to be the it person. You want to be cool. You want to be lit. But these are all world, worldly terms, guys. Research the Holy Bible, guys. Um, it's better for you to be a good example um, one time 
than to try to cling on to somebody and be cool and be, oh, I want to be their role model, but I want to be like worldly and I want to like get lit and I want to do things that are of the devil. Guys, it's better for you to set one solid example to them, just like God does, and then to remove yourself from their life. And if they reach out to you, then they were truly inspired by what you did for them. But not everyone is going to reach back to you guys. Um, some people just are not ready for that kind of love, guys. As a chosen one, you scare many people away. When you're chosen by God, people get afraid of how light, how how much of a powerful light you have within you, um, that they essentially withdraw themselves because they're saying, because you got to understand, they're also connected with God. So something inside of them is telling them, you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you're not holy, and it's the devil, guys. It's the devil telling them this. So... That's the reason that they don't have the spirit enough of the spirit of God within them. And that's the same reason that they are not reaching out to you. They're not doing the things that you're doing for them, for you guys. Um, it's the whole reason that basically people still don't think they're worthy. Even though God tells them, you are so, so worthy. You are wonderful. Um, God wishes to come inside of everybody and... He wishes to pump his spirit into everyone, guys, but only there's only the select chosen ones that have the spirit of God within them. And there's only the select people that let God inside of them, um, because a lot of people are still resisting, resisting, resisting. They're not resisting their temptations, guys. They're going for their temptations. They're 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 indulging in glut gluttony. Uh, they're doing all types of drugs, alcohol, even marijuana um, is a drug, guys. Uh, they're engaging in sexual behaviors, guys. Um, they are just engaging in uh, all types of expressions of anger and um, spreading negativity and sadness, guys. Um, these are things that these people engage in. But when you come in their life and set a good example and say, hey, this is how it should be. Um, they're going to run from that, guys, but they will always remember your example. Um, that's why it's important to not fold into this worldly things um, of being the it person or lit or always trying to um, always trying to be like the clown, like the center of attention, guys. No, as a chosen one, you're not the center of attention. You're the last person that gets attention um, so that when people finally have their attention on you it's like all eyes are on you you are speaking and they are listening they're submitting to you right the, the more you just try to always say something they're going to kind of be like oh uh, yeah i don't really believe what this guy has to say because he always needs attention so he's probably doing this for attention that's why as a chosen one with the spirit of god within you you speak once everyone is paying attention to you i don't care how long it takes I don't care if you hang out with somebody a hundred times and they just talk the whole time when you're with them. Uh, and finally they say like, well, how do you feel? And then you tell them with the spirit of God within you, he's using you as a vessel. That's when you speak. And that's when you truly move people, guys. It's like you have a hook and sinker, right? When you speak, you have that hook and sinker. You can reel anybody in uh, because you have that spirit of God within you. And you speak very honestly, guys. You speak the truth. That's why you are able to reel so many people in. But um, a lot of them don't even want to bite because they have the spirit of the devil within them. And they don't even think they're worthy yet to be around you. They are basically um, admiring you from afar, working up the courage um, to finally basically stand up to the devil and say, Hey, I am worthy to speak to him. Hey, I am worthy to be around him. Hey, I am beautiful i am more i am beautiful enough for him these people have a war going on inside of them guys that's why if there's people that do begin to trust you you're able to just sort of remove the devil from them just through your ways uh through the things you talk about and through your spirit guys uh your spirit is going to scare any kind of uh 
evil spirits and people away, guys. Um, it's going to completely remove uh, the devil from these people if you spend enough time with them, guys. It's like you're going to be seeing, um, basically, you're going to be seeing the devil leave them um, at some point when you're with them just through the emotional things you speak about, um, the way you just speak honestly to the point. Um, you're going to literally see the devil leave them. Uh, even if it's just temporarily, guys, uh, because the devil does not want to be around any kind of light spirit, any kind of powerful light spirit. So uh, you, you you might be kicking it with your friends. You know, you're sober. Um, you're chilling. You got the spirit of God within you. All your friends are drinking, smoking marijuana, um, just doing very bad things. Um, but. They may ask you your opinion and you speak. And when you speak, you keep speaking. You don't just say one thing. You keep going and going and you speak on the word of God. Even if you're not speaking about Jesus Christ and God, but you're speaking the words from God. The words they need to hear from God in the name of Jesus Christ. And you may speak your words and you may see them get up, shake your hand, say, oh, that's what I'm talking about. I respect that. And you witness the devil leave them, at least temporarily, guys. When you're in their presence, it's like they feel safe. They feel happy. They secretly want to be around you a lot more than they are, guys. Um, this is that devil within them, again, when you're not around them, is saying, like, you're not worthy of his presence. No, don't go around him. Oh, don't include him. Do you get what I'm saying, guys? When people are around you, it's like the devil kind of temporarily leaves them. And now you are filling them up. Um, and God is filling them up with the spirit um, because now that devil is sort of taking a leave of absence when you're in the presence. So, yeah, you're going to see your friends completely mood change when you go around them, when you speak. Um, but um, then when you leave from around them, uh, the devil is probably going to come right back again. So, uh, yeah, guys, it's a process. It's a real process to sort of help people around you um, to... I'm getting my phone kind of blown up here, guys. Let me see what's going on. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I'm getting some messages, guys. But, uh, yeah, let me just continue this video. I'm sure it can wait, guys. I mean, it does sound important, but let me just keep bringing you guys this video, guys. Because this is number one overall. Um, if it's an emergency, they'll call me or they'll... They'll tell me it's an emergency in their text. So, yeah, guys, I mean, and sorry I'm not looking in the camera very much. I'm just uh, kind of focused on uh, getting my hair all dried out and ready for tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, guys, um, as a chosen one by God, um, you are going to be able to remove the devil from people around you, guys. Um, it's going to take time. Uh, it's easy to temporarily uh, remove them, right? But I even I even witness this around my own family, guys. Is uh, when I come in the room and my presence is there, um, it's like people will begin to leave the room. Like I'll irritate certain people uh, just by me being there. I'm not even saying anything. It's just like I walk in the room and they walk out. So yes, the devil does have a very big grip. On um, a lot of these people, guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, for real, guys. It's uh, It goes very deep, guys. It goes into the Holy Bible. It goes into all types of scriptures, guys. Um, it's prophecies. And, you know, it, as a chosen one with the Spirit of God within you, it's a blessing to know you are a part of the prophecy, guys. You are a part of the prophecy. You're not a part of the devil, um, from what I understand, the devil doesn't have a book. The devil doesn't have a word. He's sort of just like a free-for-all, kill, steal, and hurt people, right? Uh, that's what he stands for. He doesn't need to write scriptures. He doesn't need to write uh, any type of Bibles or holy things, right? Because he's not holy. Um, he is dirty, and he is very just conniving and, you know, all types of bad things, guys. And he even taints the chosen ones, guys. That's why it's important to give back in the word of God, right? You probably know there's something special about you. You probably know you're different, but you probably just don't know you're chosen by God yet because uh, you still need to kind of uh, repent for your sins 
and you still kind of need to get back on the track of God again. You probably at one point had some kind of experience with God. Um, you started believing in him, but then life kind of took over or something happened. Or maybe you've been a believer all along, guys. I mean, as a chosen one, you know your own story the best, guys. Um, not every chosen one is exactly the same. Uh, it just means we have the spirit of God within us. And he uses us as a vessel to um, spread his ways and to spread his word. So, yeah, guys, um, that's about it for this video. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate that. And, yeah, guys, uh, check out the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.